Light is everywhere. A light can carry pictures and sound. We wouldn't have color without light. We need light to see. Light is everywhere. Light is everywhere. We never really think about it because when we can't get it from the sun, we can just flip a switch. But light is an important part of our daily life. There's even a part of science dedicated to light and what it can do. It's called optics and photonics. Optic means eye. The study of light is called optics. It's a part of physics. Physics tries to explain nature. Things like what makes a rainbow, why the sky is red at sunset, and the color of butterfly wings. And optics create solutions to everyday problems. Cell phones, digital cameras, solar technology, CDs, DVDs, astronomy, and GPS tracking. Optics and photonics make all these things happen. The study of light allows us to see further and closer in more colors and in greater detail. It's allowed us to harness light to help us save the planet, cure disease, talk to each other, and so much more. because we know that light follows some basic rules. White light is made up of many different colors. White light is made up of many colors. White light is made up of many colors. Light is made up of many colors. To see the different colors in light, you'll need a plastic lid, clear tape, a spoon, scissors, a straw, bubble solution, which is just water and dish soap, and a flashlight. Next, you put it all together. First, you're gonna take a piece of the clear tape, and then you want to, you're going to want to make it sticky on both sides. Place that on the flashlight. Then take the plastic lid and attach the to the tape. Take the spoon and put a couple spoonfuls of bubble solution. That should be enough. Then blow a bubble to form a dome above the plastic lid. Then turn the flashlight on. Make the plastic lid aligned with your eyebrows and look up into the bubble and you'll be able to see colors. Why do you think that happens? Colors are formed from the light bouncing off the outside and the inside of the bubble. And as the bubble thins, colors are eliminated. This is why you can see colors more in things like abalone shells, bird feathers, oil slicks, and bubbles. Light travels in waves. Sometimes two or more waves join together. Destructive interference is when two or more waves come together and cancel each other out to make a weaker wave. We get interference from a thin film like a bubble because of the light waves which bounce off the front and back surfaces of the bubble wall. As the bubble gets older, it gets thinner on top and thicker on the bottom, leading to changing and swirling colors. Light is made up of many colors, and that fact is used to help astronomers figure out what's in stars, the sun, and the atmospheres of planets. Optical engineers make things that use light to change the world. We can solve problems with light. We can make the world a better place. What amazing things could you do with light? <laughs>